<laughs> Welcome. It's great to have you with us here at Unity. Today we touch a little deeper into that experience of guidance that is so important to us, isn't it? To be able to connect with that which helps our lives go forward. I'm glad you're here with us. And as we journey through our service, I invite you to take that moment to connect with the magnificent spiritual being that you are. Good morning and welcome to Unity of Walnut Creek. Please stand if you're able and join me in singing our opening song, the welcome song. We've come to celebrate. We want to make you feel at home. And so we welcome you to Unity of Walnut Creek. Forget your second song Let's come together come together heart and soul as we love together young and old we will sing together together From different worlds we are drawn together In our own way we can pray together Together in one strong I see God in you
Good morning. Please be seated and let us acknowledge our song leader, Steve Pulliam. And as we have just come together, let's come together and acknowledge our special guest artist for today, Mitch Monroe. And you're in for such a treat. And of course, as always, he is backed up by our fabulous fusion. I would love it if you could join me in welcoming our friends online. Would that be okay? So let's say good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Your presence is always a welcome addition to our service. If you're ever in the neighborhood, drop in and see us. Or as they say in the, in the South, y'all come. Okay, so how many of you were at the crab feed last night? Oh, that crab was so good. I ate so much, I'm still full. So exciting, and, and just Leslie always does a wonderful job, and the people. Yeah. And the people who help out, uh, John and all of the people who cook and the kids and so forth. I mean, everybody is always on it, and it just runs like a well-oiled machine, and the desserts, as usual, off the chains. Especially Linda's carrot cake. This morning, I am welcoming you as one of your ministers here. And I am inviting you, if you are new to Unity, to join us on this positive path for spiritual living. It is such an amazing journey. And it leads to such a deep awareness of who we are and the power that lives within us individually as that divine presence. And in a moment, we are going to have an experience of that. But I want to invite you as we share this prayer statement that has been around unity for a while and as we align with Silent Unity, who has been praying 24 hours a day, seven days a week for over 125 years, that you join me in adding my daughter to the prayer statement, who is in the emergency room right now. So if you would join with me, remembering this, because it is so important, it is so important. Let us say together, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. Let us accept that for ourselves. And knowing that this is the truth at the deepest level of our being. And again, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. And as we continue to absorb this at every aspect of our being, we embrace this entire sanctuary and our friends online and see on. Holding this truth without one single doubt And once more, there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. And we allow this truth to just flow into our communities, into our nation, and out into the world, touching every heart that beats. And for this, 
I am so grateful. Would you say this with me? I am so grateful. Again, I am so grateful. And once more, I am so grateful. And so it is, for it could not be otherwise. And together we say, Amen. Please remain seated and join Steve in our next congregation song. vessel to be used seeds of me I will be I will be I will be here I stand my heart is here to serve Wherever love is leading me, I will go, I will go, I will go. Here I am, a vessel to be used. Whatever spirit needs of me I will be I will be I will be here I stand my heart is here to serve wherever love is leading me I will go I will go, I will go. Continuing on in this journey of prayer, I invite you to just take that deep breath through your heart, realizing that we are connected and one with this divine presence and its love. And we open our hearts as Ted shares with us blessing from our heart ministers. A prayer for healing. As the love, light, peace, and healing power of God flows throughout our hearts, we offer our prayers of healing. For those in the midst of health challenges, we speak the word of wholeness and affirm God's healing power flowing through each of them in mind, body, and spirit. For those suffering from losses, tragedies, and violence, we affirm God's consoling and comforting love that lifts them up and carries them to a place of solace. For those living in fear and chaos, we affirm God's power of peace bringing relief and safety to their hearts and minds. For those who are lost and cannot find their way out of the darkness, we affirm God's power of life and light pouring out upon them and guiding them to a better way and a better day. For all of us, everywhere, in every situation, and through every emotion, we affirm the truth that wherever there they are, God is, and all is well. And so it is. Taking that deep breath again, centering on that awareness of this divine presence within each of us, opening as it guides and
cares for each of us in an infinite wisdom. As we deepen in that awareness, we invite the music to be part of that journey into the center of our hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, come. I invite you to join in if you would like. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Spirit. Father God, as we continue this journey into the greater awareness of your presence, we awaken to know the truth that your spirit comes forth in every need within our lives. When that need is there for health and wholeness, your spirit is there. Your spirit brings that perfect pattern of wholeness that is within each spiritual being. Brings it powerfully and completely into the body, into every cell and system, that it draws forth all that would make whole. For your love, is completely present in each one of us. And that love releases all that is unlike itself. And we are whole. Where there is the pain within our feeling worlds, where we hurt from actions we perceive from another or things that we perceive as failings within ourselves. There is present within us this love that awakens us to wholeness, that your love is total and complete within us. We are loved as we are, sustained, healed, and guided to that which is the fullest, to that which is the wisdom of pure divine love. And where within our worlds we see that which brings hurt to our hearts, we remember it is you who are present everywhere in everything. And we awaken to see your goodness unfold, to see us lifted and drawn into that which is the most meaningful and the greatest blessing. Mother, Father, God, knowing your presence, we can rest in deep, deep peace. So we touch that peace and gently Gently enter into stillness, simply following that beautiful direction of the Master. Peace, be still. Peace, be still.
beloved presence. We are so grateful to have been able to rest here for a moment. Simply one with the one. Aware of your presence and goodness, your love and care. And so now we take this beautiful awareness and we radiate it from our hearts. We send it as that transforming power of love into every cell and system of our bodies, into our minds and hearts. We are lifted in wholeness in all things. We radiate this love from our hearts, sending it to each one who is dear to us. We enfold them, bless them, heal them, guide them, for your love is radiantly present for each one. We send this love across a spiritual community, blessing, healing, guiding. We radiate this love to every prayer request brought here. We know with each you are enfolded in divine love and you are lifted to that which is the highest. And this love flows through our hearts. It flows out, blessing the communities in which we live. Flows on to blessing our nation and on to bless and touch the peoples of the world. This divine love flows through our hearts. It is joined with all who join us in prayer, whether in mosque or synagogue, temple or church, whether gathered at home or on the hillside. For in seeking to know you, we are all one. And we send this radiant love to our beloved earth to bring blessing and balance to her systems, to bring rain where it is dry, calm where there is storm, to bring blessing to her creatures. And we send this powerful love radiating it about the earth to touch the heart of every single person in the earth. For beloved presence, you are that love in every heart. And in this love, we are one. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. Please join me. Divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. And again, divine love flows through my heart, enfolding and blessing the world. And once again, divine love flows through our heart, enfolding and blessing the world. Come, Spirit, come, Spirit, come, come, come. And it is so. In the beauty of that divine presence within each one. Amen. Wake up, wake up, the sun cannot wait for long. 
Reach out, reach out before it fades away. You can find the warmth if you surrender. Smile into the fear and let it play. You want to run away, run away, and you see that it can't be so. You want to look away, look away, but you stay because it's all so close. When you stand up and hold out your I can't understand You're my reason to be brief Hold on, hold on so strong Time just carries on All that you thought was wrong Is pure again Forever from the thunder Smile into the storm And feel the rain You want to run away, run away And you stay cause it's all so close You want to look away, look away so close Will you stand up and hold out your hand in a place that I can't understand You're my reason to be brief Holy mackerel. Wait, thank you, Mitch. Mitch Monroe, everybody. Wow. We have a lot of talent here. So my name is Javier Cortez, and it's truly my pleasure to highlight some of the upcoming events here at Unity of Walnut Creek. Let's lift up our physically disabled friends. Help us install a lift on the second floor of the education building. Please stop by the Threads of Grace table on the patio. Homemade items are available on a love offering basis. And 100% of the donation goes directly to the lift fund. You won't want to miss Freddie Weber as our guest speaker and performer on the first Sunday in March. Freddie travels, travels all over the United States presenting her musical comedy, Being Here Now, and her studies with Eckhart Tolle, oh, based on her studies with Eckhart Tolle, the power of now and a new earth. 
And if you're interested in taking the step of joining our Unity community as a member, or, in, or just interested in learning more about what Unity is about, join us the second Tuesday in March for our membership orientation class. We will explore Unity's history and teaching, what makes Unity different, and, and how Unity looks at other religions, and much more. And now, I would like to invite Ms. Shonda Williams to the platform. Good morning, Unity. My name is Shonda, and I joined Unity about a year ago, so I'm coming up on my one-year anniversary. Thank you, thank you. And so I just want to let you guys know that um, Unity is like the Bay Area's best-kept secret, and we want to change that. So I have a couple questions for you. Do you love Unity of Walnut Creek? Yes. Okay, good. Good, you're in the right place. <laughs> Have you been touched? Has your life benefited from the teachings here at Unity of Walnut Creek? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Two out of two. <laughs> Do you have a friend or a family member that you think their lives could be improved or enhanced by being here at Unity of Walnut Creek? Yes. All right. Awesome. So how about this? I'm going to do something a little unorthodox. I'm going to ask you to take out this device, because I know everybody has one. And I want you to send a text message to that friend, to that loved one that you just thought of, and let them know that Sunday, Sunday, March 13th, at both the 9.30 and 11.30 services, we will celebrate our very first Unity Friend Day. It's going to be a fun day with a great message, great food prepared by the men's group. I strongly recommend that you do this. And if you have any questions, Zula's actually going to be out. Zula. She's going to be out on the patio if you have any questions or if you want to volunteer, because we do need greeters to welcome all of these wonderful people, all your friends and family that you're going to bring that day. So again, see Zula after service if you have any questions or anything. And again, invite your friends, invite your family, because you might just change their life. Thank you. Thank you. Please come to Unity on March 13th. <laughs> Find out more about these events and other activities online or in today's bulletin. And now until you hear the gong, please take a short moment to greet the people immediately around you. remain standing and join me in singing our next song, God in Everything.
I feel perfection in what life brings. I feel God in everything. I choose joy, I choose peace, I choose goodness surrounding me, I choose love in every breath I breathe, I choose God in everything, I choose happiness, I choose freedom, I choose the beauty that lives in me, I choose perfection in what life brings. I choose God in everything. I know joy, I know peace, I know goodness surrounding me. I know love in every breath I breathe. I know God in everything. I know happiness, I know freedom, I know the beauty that lives in me. I know perfection in what life brings. I know God in everything. I know God in everything. Nothing but some awful song But now I've found the meaning of my life I'm leaning on the ever-loving arms of God If I can see it, then I can be it If I just believe it there's nothing to it I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I dream about it every night and day I spread my wings and fly away I believe I can soar I see me running through that open door I believe I can fly I believe I can fly, I believe I can fly. You see, I was on the verge of breaking down. You know, sometimes the sounds of silence, they can seem so loud. There are miracles in life I must achieve. But first I know it starts inside of me If I can see it Then I can be it If I just believe it There's nothing to it I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I dream about it every night and day I spread my wings and fly away I believe I can soar See me running through that open door I believe I can fly I believe you can fly I believe you can fly If I just spread my wings I can fly If I just work, I can see it. If I just believe it, there's nothing to it. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. See me running through that open door I believe I can fly I believe I can fly If I just spread my wings I 
can fly away. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Mitch, and our music men. Thank you all. Aren't they wonderful? Well, I believe you can fly. I believe I ate too much last night to get off the ground. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, what fun. I, I so much love getting to play with all of you. We're good at that. That's wonderful. And... And I'm, I'm looking forward to the delightful experience we get to have next Sunday with Freddie Weber. Those of you who have read Eckhart Tolle know taking it lightly with humor is <laughs> going to teach us more than anything. I, I love it. I'm, I'm eager to uh, uh, experience what she's bringing us. So... I shared... Last, uh, last Sunday uh, that I had gotten that guidance to go ahead and uh, retire here months and months down the road. Uh, but I also realized that that gave me something that was very important through these uh, Sundays between now and then. And one of those things is that I want to be able to address the questions that you have on your spiritual journey. And so w today you got three by five cards when you came in. If anybody doesn't have one, just hold up your hand and Mike's, Mike's got some right there and he'll bring them to you. But uh, so keep them up and uh, they'll get around. Um, but the thing I'd like you to do is write down those questions. Because what happens then I get to look at them and when I'm looking at what, what to share. I get to address it to what, what is important to you. The other part of that is you won't get any answers. <laughs> but we'll explore a bit together, fair enough? <laughs> one, of, one of the things uh, that is, is very important to me is the experience of guidance. And I, I worked with it a little bit last Sunday, and I shared with you three practices that are, that are really crucial in our opening and, and deepening in this experience of guidance. Okay, and, and the first was meditation. That the relationship that we develop to the spiritual self that we are, that comes through that simple resting in the stillness. Just hanging out without the mind doing its thing or our feeling worlds going over all their stuff. Just hanging out with who we really are, the spiritual presence, beautiful practice of, of meditation. And with that, then, is the way that we so often use to call guidance forward is the experience of prayer. Now, it's, it has been very impactful and very helpful to me, and I shared a little bit of, of that with you. But I also got to admit, in, in working with those two, uh, it tended to be hit and miss, and I, I had the experience of looking at this work that I was doing, supporting people on their spiritual growth, and realizing that none of us could look back and say, well, you know, I've responded to something like this in the past, so I'm going to use this this time. That, in fact, we are in an experience of change and transformation that is so dynamic at this time in the experience of humankind that we really need to access regularly and directly clear guidance on how to deal with what is uh, before us. And so it was, it was my prayer to experience and find that that led me into the heart work. And so that's why when, when I share the experience of guidance, I add that third part of that puzzle, which is that connecting deep into the heart because it is there that we make that most direct connection with our spiritual self, with this 
being that we are that is, is eternal and connected with this infinite wisdom and power and love that is life itself. So that heart connection then becomes that third step. And then it has occurred to me, there's a step I didn't mention. There's a technique that, in fact, I'm amazed, but it is seldom used to teach about guidance. And it is something we, we have all used and experienced guidance from it. And that is the experience of giving. Giving creates guidance. And guidance creates giving. Now there's a reason for that. This, the very nature of this divine presence is flow. Okay, it's this, this infinite power in life that wants to enter our beings, animate it. When we were, when we were doing our, our prayers for healing, that's what we're calling on, that, that animating, powerful presence that is moving in and through us that can, that can call us into wholeness and, and release that which is not. And that's one of the ways that we experience. We also experience it in our material lives. It's that which brings into manifestation the things that we need. And it's that which guides us as we go forward and meet life situations. Now, the, the teaching of, of Jesus is give and it will be given unto you. Actually, I got the, the whole thing here. It's Give and it will be given unto you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Actually, that's not true. I hate to correct him. <laughs> it's always greater than what we give. And I know we've experienced that. And that's, that's why that giving... And we give in so many different forms. We know, we know that this generosity of giving in, in uh, the material uh, abundance that we have, the, the finances, the money, the things that help uh, operate in this world, is, is a part of that giving. And in that, what have, when you think just about gifts that are given here, I think when, when you give something, that helps so many people in their spiritual growth, in their awakening. It helps them connect into a world of, of prayer and support and to connection with like-minded people that help them grow and, and, and strengthen and explore this, uh, this powerful spiritual being that they are. And so giving causes blessing. Okay. Now, that's, that's at the material level. And what happens is at the material level, we also know there's that, there's kind of a, a powerful place we can step into through the experience of tithing, where we connect into a, a powerful expansion of our awareness and our connection with this, this beautiful flow. But in addition to, to giving as material, also the time, the talent, the effort that we give. Think of all those beautiful people who made that uh, the crab feed happen for just the love and care and talent. Wow, to to nurture and support this community. And think of the marvelous giving that happens through the the musicians here. That touch, I mean, all this the the time, the talent. So giving puts us in that flow. That flow includes illumination. And it includes love, which brings understanding. And those become the guidance that take us forward. Let me share with you an, ex an experience. Now, the young man, they, they, he just gave his name as Kev. But Kev was a musician. Kev was a guitar player, and uh, 
we're fortunate to have guitar players around here, so we, we, we appreciate guitar players deeply. Um, what I know about Kev is that he had worked with his guidance and that he was a person who gave. And I know that because what he, de what he describes is getting a, a sense, a guidance, a clarity at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, he was a guitar player, so it might just be really late at night for him. Okay. <laughs> the music, music world kind of has its own rhythm to it. <laughs> but 3 o'clock in the morning, he gets this, sense of direction that he should go down and play his guitar on, the, on a beach. So he gets in his car and drives down to Ocean City, and he goes out to their boardwalk. Now, when he, when he comes there, and it's, it's not a guitar playing kind of moment, you know, kind of misty and cold, and nobody really wants to be out in it. You know, but... But he, he comes up, and so there's, even though it's a place that's normally filled with people, that, you know, those hours of the morning, by the time he got there, it's not, it's not filled, and it's cold. And, and so he only sees two people. He sees a, a woman off on his left that seems a little strange. She's sweeping. Um, and he sees uh, somebody... Uh, uh, apparently a homeless person on his right, uh, uh, wrapped up, just sitting against the retaining wall that's there. So he kind of sits down that middle sort of place, and, and he begins to play. And after a little while, the lady on his left with the, with the broom is kind of swept up to him. <laughs> and uh, she says to him, that is so beautiful. And she reaches in her pocket. She's obviously a homeless woman. She reaches in her pocket and pulls out just a few coins, and she said, I, I, know, I know this isn't enough, but I'd like to pay you to pr play for my friend over there. Her name's Annie, and she's having a real hard time. So... Kev responds by saying, well, I would be glad to do that for you if you'll let me do it for free. So the two of them go over to Annie, and Annie is completely s surrounded with a big coat and hat and sunglasses, and, and, and the, the broom lady explains as, as they go over towards Annie that Annie, Annie doesn't talk and might not acknowledge him at all, but she will really enjoy the music, and she's had, some, she's had a hard time. So Kev goes over, and the broom lady ex explains that he's going to play a special song for her. So he sits down and begins to play. And as, as he does that, what happens for Kev is he goes into that feeling of compassion in his heart. And he just touches that sense of care for this woman there in that struggle in life. And he, he plays for her. And after a while, she suddenly turns towards him and she takes off her sunglasses and he can see there are tears running down her cheek and she smiles at him. And then she speaks, which kind of surprises him because the broom lady had said she didn't speak. But she, she speaks and she says, how did you do that? I felt it in my heart. And then she reaches into her pocket and pulls out just a, a couple pennies, things that she has, and says, I want, I, I want to thank you for that. And he said, well, I'm glad, but I, I can't take it because this is a gift from your friend. And she says, oh, that lady's crazy. <laughs> 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 but
but she is my friend, so I, 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 guess, it's, I guess it's okay. <laughs> and uh, so then Kev goes on and he plays, and, and he describes his experience as just getting into the music, feeling his care and compassion for this woman who is, is there beside him. And he said, as he did so, there was this beautiful peace that came over him. And by this time of the morning, there were, there were those first people that are up in that early morning hour, and there were a couple folks that had actually come over and, and were listening. And there's, there's a fellow that says to him, that is so beautiful. I really want to give you some money. And, and he reaches into his pocket, and Kev says, well, I really can't take it because this is a gift but it would mean a lot to me if you would give that to Annie here. And so the man gives the money to Annie. Now, when, when Annie had said that she guessed it, it's all right, one of the things that Kev had shared with her, he says, when I play, good things happen for people. And Annie said something that maybe was kind of telling at that point. She said, I wish I could believe that. And a moment later, there's the giving to her. Kev played a little more and then had that sense of uh, completion. So he packed up his guitar and was about to turn around and go off and Annie turned to him and said, you know, I do believe what you've said. Good things can happen. And just at that time, the broom lady had come back up uh, from where she'd been sweeping. And so she, w she was there and suddenly, he said, Annie, talk. She has never spoken before. And Kev went on his way. Kev listened to his guidance. Now, 3 a.m. guidance is challenging to listen to. I've had middle of the day, comfortable guidance and ignored it. Okay, so I'm really impressed with Kev's going with 3 a.m. guidance. But so he, he, he listened to that guidance, and the guidance was to go and play. Now, playing is a giving, but he didn't know what that was. He just went and played. And what happened was what he was doing touched the lady with the broom. Now, it touched her so much that she wanted to give. Now she pulled what little she had out and she's homeless. But she wanted to give because she wanted to give to her friend Annie. So they went about giving to Annie. And as they gave to Annie, one of the things that happened was Annie wanted to give. Now, she wanted to participate in what was happening that was beautiful and good and uplifting in her life. And as they accepted that, and as Kev responded by continuing to give, what happened was someone came up and wanted to give to him. And he was able to give to Annie. And that change from a place so dark you can't speak to a place where you can smile and have hope was created.
You see, when we give, we bless. And when we bless, we are blessed with guidance. We are blessed with greater awareness. We are blessed with greater goodness. It's a flow. It is a beautiful flow. And you know this because you've done it. Okay? You have given from your heart and your care and your love and your wisdom and you followed your, your guidance and you've given and you have seen others blessed around you. We know this because we've done it. Giving is one of the powerful tools that brings forth greater awareness, brings forth our guidance, because it is a flow of divine love that would take us forward into the fulfillment of our lives. You see, all the blessings that happen down there on that beach happen through people who gave. God blesses through you. It's through your hands. It's through your gift. It's through your wisdom. It's through your talents. It's through your care. God blesses through you. That's why it means so much to give. God blesses through me. Join me. God blesses through me. Can you feel what that flows like? Can you remember that? Again, God blesses through me. Just letting yourself feel that which opens that door of guidance and greater awareness. Again, God blesses through me this beautiful flow of awareness. You are one with an infinite, powerful, intelligence, care, and wisdom that is unfolding ever greater things in each of our lives. And it is our opening to that that brings the joy, the meaning, the wholeness, and the peace. And I know that you know this because I know you do it. And for that blessing, that flows through each one of us. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you, Reverend David. I ask everyone to take a connection card from the seat pocket in front of you. We invite each of you to take a moment to fill out this card. With the card, you can request prayer support for something or someone in your life. In addition, our heart ministers are available after the service for that wonderful, wonderful experience of personal prayer support. They are the ones with the lavender stoles. Prayer requests can also be sent at any time through our website. Our spiritual focus this week is God blesses through me. The ushers will receive your card with the offering towards the end of the music. It is time for our prosperity celebration. And please turn in the question cards with your offering. I was just told. <laughs> It's now time for your prosperity, our prosperity celebration for credit card donations. There are envelopes on the clipboards and in the back of each chair. Or those of you at home, just click on the donate button on the You Just Watch Live page. As Unity's co-founder, American mystic Charles Fillmore said, God is the source of a mighty stream of substance. And you are a tributary of that stream, a channel of expression. Blessing the substance increases its flow. So I invite you now to take your tithe or offering in your hand. Be aware. Be aware that God is the source of all your good. Repeat our affirmation with me together. Divine love through me 
blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. And I'm truly grateful. share our blessing together. The children, you are loved, special, and important. The light of God shines through you. And let's take hands and share together our prayer protection. Together, 
the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, and the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well, and our peace song. light and the peace in the earth right now. So let it shine and have fun. <laughs>